D plays 25 minutes, eight points on three of eight, four blocks. LeBron leads the way, of course, with 33 points on 14 of 21. LeBron was 12 for 13 from two-point field goal shots. Malik Monk, 22 points, six of 12, five rebounds. James Harden led the way for the Brooklyn Nets. Lakers are now 24 and 24 on the season. Let's hear from Frank Vogel. He speak with Mike in the media. Frank, I want to ask you first about those back-to-back -back steals from LeBron. Did you switch up some of the coverages in the fourth to be more aggressive with Harden after uh, playing more traditional? And, and do you think that led to that in part just with LeBron's, you know? Yeah, we did. He was this far away from having three of them, too. Um, yeah, we didn't want to double hit, double James the whole game. It, it puts a lot of pressure on us to you know, to really run around. Um, although he made it difficult with the way he was scoring the ball early. Uh, but, but yes, late in the game, we wanted to take the ball out of his hands. And, you know, when we do that, Braun is, is great as a, you know, a free safety, you know, looking for steal opportunities. And uh, he missed the one that led to the James Johnson three, but got two consecutive ones right after that. And um, he obviously tore the rim down, down the other end. He was really locked in on the defensive side of the ball all day long, starting with shoot around, uh, really getting our guys locked into the coverages and, and talking about how we finished uh, the game in Miami. You know, how we didn't come out with the necessary energy to start, uh, but the second half energy was different. Physicality was different. And, you know, he set a tone for us uh, starting with the morning shoot around and that type of focus. Your thoughts on AD and how that fit into the context of how you want to play moving forward? Yeah, uh, 24 minutes. We'll probably like to play him a little bit more. Uh, hopefully we can get there. Um, but it's going to be, you know, there's going to be a buildup, you know, and, um, you know, I thought he uh, he really changed things for us defensively at the rim with his hands, with his deflections. Obviously not a big scoring night, but, um, you know, his his anchor uh, to our defense is something that's been sorely missed. And, uh, you know, the ability to mix pitches with him being, you know, a, a five man and a rim protector and then going centerless, you know, when he's out. Is something that uh, we envision will be really good for us and give us a great opportunity to make a, you know, a late push in the uh, the regular season and and into the playoffs. Frank, there was um, a possession early in the game, I think, where James gets switched on. Or I'm sorry, AD gets switched on to James, forces a missed jumper. Russ gets the rebound, kind of whips a bounce pass to LeBron. LeBron scores in transition. Um, was that sort of the vision, kind of along of how these three guys could? interact in terms of a guy who can push the ball, you know, one of the best finishers ever in this like defensive Swiss Army knife. And I guess just how encouraging were those moments tonight when you got to see those three guys finally together? Yeah, we haven't seen them enough this year, you know, and, um, you know, that's what everybody has to keep in perspective. Um, there's there's a variety of plays where all three of those guys make plays like that. But the big theme is, you know, the defensive versatility that all three of those guys have. And if we can get stops and get them out in the open court, like you alluded to, uh, we can be really dangerous. Um, just in a more general sense, I mean, you guys had 20 first uh, fast break points in the first half. Um, how much does AD's presence, either the way he runs the floor or the deflections and blocks he causes, affect your pace as a team? And is that the identity you guys are trying to get back to? Well, it's huge you know the only way to put it you know we're going to be dynamic in the open court but if we can't get stops or we can't get rebounds we struggle to rebound the ball tonight but uh if we can't get stops and stops without fouls um which is what anthony brings to the table you know he's the anchor of our defense we've missed him and when we're able to do that and get us out on a break we can be dynamic it might have been as soon as the first play because he scored on a dunk to begin the game. But what was the moment where you were like, okay, Anthony looks looks right. Like he looks like he's ready to help us out there. Yeah, I mean, I would say I would say the first play. You know, obviously, the, you know, looked in rhythm there. Uh, but there were several defensive possessions where he got blocks. You know that you know, he looked like he was moving well. Um, you know, we were cautious to make sure we didn't keep his runs too long. You know, uh, like like he typically has. We'll build up to that. But I didn't think there was a moment other than a couple finishes around the basket, you know, a short jumper that he missed, that he looked out of sync. You know what I mean? For the most part, he looked really good. And, uh, you know, those little finishes will come. Game four of the Lakers road trip takes them to the